Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 21 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls Remastered. Alright, so we've um, moved this lever here last time facing that direction. We're going to keep it there um, just for a bit so we can get the boulder to fall out of this area here, which just kind of sends it down there to nowhere. Um, and that'll give us an opportunity to just explore this area a little bit. Uh, okay, so I think there's an, yeah, there's an enemy here. Just walk off right about here-ish. Okay, cool, I got it. Do a plunging attack, then kill him. Uh, okay, so there's a few items here. Large Soul of Proud Knight. And... Oh, this is a way to get kind of closer to the ground, but we don't need to use that. Uh, we can actually jump from a bit higher up. We'll take a bit of damage, but it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not an invisible wall. Yep. Uh, okay, so let's do this section next. We're gonna grab this, which is the black sorcerer gear, along with the sorcery known as Hush, which is... Masks all noises of caster. Okay, so it's more of a PvP thing, so that you can't hear your, hear your enemy. Um, so open that gate from that side come here this is the middle path that leads down so the the rolling boulders up there and it should be knocked yeah it's gonna be knocked the same way at the moment I believe yep I'm gonna go through here uh, there's another little gate thing down here now this is interesting so up here or up the top above us there's like a spike pit or like a spiked ceiling let me just heal real quick so what we're going to do is going to wait until this goes up. You can see there's blood there. Damages you. And then we're going to go down. Oh, this might kill me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, probably don't do what I did there, actually. Um, you know what? I'm going to go about it the normal way so you know exactly what to do. <laughs> I, uh, I was trying to remember the area and I... And I know it for the most part, but I wanted to... Um, try and do it all in one go, but I think you do have to backtrack a little bit. There might be a way, but let's just play it a bit safe, safer. Uh, we should get to the bonfire anyway very soon, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, or to a bonfire, I should say. Alright, so let's go... Yeah, we're going to go back up. Hopefully no boulder. Uh, actually, let's go down. Well, oh, geez, so hard to choose. <laughs> uh, oh. What was... Is that the boulder? <laughs> Let me just make sure. Yep, okay, we're fine. Because we need the boulder to actually go the way that we were going. So let's push it this way. That'll cause it to go this way. Then we can run down. Just kind of chase after it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's another one coming, so be quick about it. And we made it. Alright, now here's the thing. When you get here, the boulder reaches this point and then kind of just drops down into this hole. And once enough of these boulders drop, it starts to fill up. There we go, you can see another one. Should be another one or two, I think. There's another one. That one. Now when we get one more, it'll be all full. And then after one more boulder rolls down... Hang on a sec. It's gonna break this wall right here. And it'll give us access to... A fairly important item in the game. A fairly important ring. Boom! Breakthrough. And all you have to do is pick up the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. Very similar if not exactly the same as uh, that particular ring in other games. Uh, let's get rid of the steel protection one and we'll use it. Technically we don't need to use it right now, but whoa, forgot about that. <laughs> um, technically we don't need to use it right now, but we may as well to just kind of increase our uh, chance of item drops, which will give us more stuff to sell, give us more souls and help us out generally. All right. Uh 
So this is our first mimic of the game. Um, it's you can tell actually similar to Dark Souls 3. The chain is facing towards us, and I wonder if it has the little animation of it breathing. It doesn't look like it. No. Okay. Anyway, let's just try taking it out. So I'm gonna go poke, poke. I've never actually tried using like a fire spell on it, like pyromancy. So I don't know if it's useful, but it's pretty easy to kill. And I cannot remember what item it is. Oh, uh, lightning spear? Yeah, lightning spear. Okay, so a lightning spear is basically a spear imbued with the lightning attribute. Um, it could probably probably be useful. I've never used it for anything, but it could probably be useful. I'm not going to go back up there. That would be stupid. I'm going to go this way. Um, yeah, it could probably be imbued... Uh, sorry. Uh, used for something useful, uh, any enemy that's weak to lightning might be might be worthwhile using it. Uh, I never use it, so it's there if you want to try. Um, but I, I don't end up using it. Okay, so let's go over here. Sometimes to note as well, this lever can kind of change positions um, without you realizing it, or not necessarily without you realizing it, but it just changes, and I think the reason is like the um, the serpent type enemies. Oh, nice! He actually died. <laughs> he fell straight down. Uh, the man serpent enemies. I think they are the ones that like turn it. So it's yeah, kind of strange. Don't exactly know why, but they uh, they turn it kind of off screen if they're alive. All right. So that pretty much takes care of the the boulder entirely. Um, make sure you turn it and face it down this way at least once to break through the wall that the man serpent was leaning on because um, uh, we need to go there eventually so now we're gonna go here press the switch watch out for the uh, watch out for the trap now let's go this way all right so we've got some more traps to get past pretty easy just walk straight into them when they're like right in front of you to get as close as possible and then uh, Damn, missed. Walk as close as possible to get near it, and then once you're uh, up close, just hold the sprint button and you should make it every time. Oh, well, I don't have many flasks left, obviously, I've only got two, but uh, because I increased the amount of essence I can dr uh, recover with each drink, it's okay. There we go. So that one that I parried, the reason it's quite difficult to parry that one is because he has... Whoa, where did you come from? Almost got bled there. Hey. Um, yeah, it's quite ch challenging to parry that one because he has different, like, sort of wind-ups. Um, sometimes it's relatively quick, sometimes it's relatively slow. So, and it's... Mm, close to impossible to tell which one he's going to do. Probably not impossible, but it's close. Um, so I kind of just try and guess. Oh, well, I have an educated guess. But this similar thing, tr instead of running all the way to it, there's two traps here. Oops. Don't know how I blocked that one. Oh, did they reactivate? That one does, apparently. Anyway, to pass that one, instead of running towards, like, the first trap, getting as close as possible, and then just, uh, whee! Nice, he's dead. Getting as close as po possible and then sprinting. Um, try and time it so that you're sprinting already when the thing is up, uh, or when it's just left the bit where you could push into it, and then you should make it. Let me just test this again. Oh, okay. And then that one activates. Oh, I never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that those activated, like, each other, essentially. Alright, now we're outside, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to quickly run over to the bonfire. Uh, there's an enemy over there. He's the one that's dropping boulders down into... Yeah, okay, so there's one over there, and he throws these large boulders that set things on fire. And that guy is the one that's um, dropping boulders down to uh, try and hit us from inside. So we're going to drop down here, light this bonfire... As much as I want to kindle it, I'm not going to. Uh, five should be sufficient. Five essence flasks should be sufficient to get me 
through the rest of this area. We're going to have to probably use the bonfire a, f a few times, but should be enough. Uh, that's where we came from, so everything's good. All right, now we're going to go out here, and we're going to try and just explore this area. And actually, you know what? Mm. Well, yeah, let's explore this area, because I don't think there's any area where the... Uh, where that big guy can use the fire boulder on us. If there is, then we'll just avoid it narrowly. Alright, Titan I tried. How many have I got? Four. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so let's go over here. Fight another one of these guys. These guys are more easily taken out by poking them. Two-handed um, halberd attacks. Oh, and then drop a large Titanite shard. There's another chest here, but this one you can see the uh, just just uh, a little bit. It's hard to tell, but the chain is facing backwards. Uh, it's another ring, I believe. Flamestone plate ring. Okay, so same as the other games, it um, provides you with a little boost to fire protection, which is good. All right, uh, there is an item over there, and we can get it. Um, but I think I might actually leave this one for now, just simply because the, uh, the big giant who's going to be throwing boulders. Let's have a look where he throws. Okay, that's good. Grab a large soul of a brave warrior. Wherever there's like blackened scorch marks, that's where he's going to be throwing. See if I can get past him this time. Nope. <laughs> That's alright. Oh, didn't realize it would do that much damage. Okay. That's fine. Run. Alright, there we go. So here is the enemy that uh, we... It's an enemy we fought before. He was in front of the, the undead parish the first time we fought him. Um, he's not too challenging. Um... Particularly because our halberd is ridiculously overpowered for this level. But uh, he takes about four or five. There we go. Five halberd hits to kill. Hmm. He general generally drops a uh, shard, but his armor is uh, rare. Uh, but I don't think it's any good. Uh, it's okay, but it weighs a lot. And it's... Oh, hang on. 30... Wait, how much more than mine does it weigh then? Oh, okay, that's significant. Uh, you know what? It weighs significantly more than mine, but considering that... Hang on a sec. Let's compare. 42 with 39. And it's not that much better for that extra weight. But I guess for right now, better is better. Um, Right now, better is better, so we may as well wear it, and then if we need to, like, m shift around our weight, we'll change it a bit. It's crazy. I've played, like, so many practice playthroughs. A few of them got up to this point, some a little bit further, and no matter what, all my character always looks different, even though my strategy is largely the same. All right, this is, um... What's his name? This is, a. Uh, I don't know if it's him, but... Um, I think this is Rickard, because when you defeat him, he drops Rickard's Rapier. Uh, not too challenging, just kind of watch out for... He probably has that same stance as the as the other enemies, uh, where he can, like, auto-parry everything. So, um, be careful of that. Rickard's Rapier. Uh, a rapier with intricate decorations. Chosen weapon of the infamous undead Prince Rickard. Rickard's exploits are told in a mono-myth... Uh, he was born into royalty, but wandered the lands in a fateful, ill-conceived journey. He became undead and disappeared up north. Okay, interesting. Alright, and up here there are two chests, neither of which are mimics, and neither of which contain anything very useful. You get a divine blessing, and a rare ring of sacrifice. Well, I guess, yeah, one of those is kind of useful. I mean, I, they are, but... They kind of fall in the Too Good To Use Club. The Divine Blessing is... Uh, it fully restores HP. It fully restores your HP and uh, undoes irregularities. Um, if that includes Curse, then that's pretty good. Um, the Rare Ring of Sacrifice uh, allows you to keep your... What is it? Your souls? Your souls... Um, and 
it nullifies curse, which is good, I guess. Alright, so both of those items get rid of curse. I, well, assumedly. Um, alright. So... Now we're gonna go over here. We're gonna keep running from the big dangerous guy. Uh, we can actually go over to that tower. Uh, we will, but not right now. Let's clear out the uh, this side first, and then we'll, we'll go over there. So here, just run towards this guy in a straight line. Oh, okay. I got very unlucky. No. Uh, okay, nice. Getting caught, and now I got lucky. Another Titanite shard, cool. Uh, there's nothing here. I don't know what the point of this little area is, but yeah, just ends abruptly. Let's go this way. Uh, there are two cages here. Um, we can technically open them, but we don't have the key yet. Uh, we're gonna go get it really soon, but we've got to deal with the uh, the big guy throwing bolts at us. Or fire boulders at us. There's an enemy behind us who is trying to snipe us with um, some arrows from a crossbow, so be careful. Or bolts from a crossbow. Oops, moved at the inappropriate time. Yeah, he can still hit us from there, so be careful. Uh, there's our boss here. Oh, look, we can see him. Hello. It's cool. That's probably the most regular looking boss I've ever seen. <laughs> but, uh, that's okay. Alright, so here he is. Um, he's not actually as hard as he looks. He is a giant, but he's not that bad. Merely poke him in the legs with your halberd. Whoa, okay. It's the first time he's provided any real challenge. So I'm gonna quickly go down here, have a sip. Poke. One. Two. Spin, spin. Nice. And yeah, for some reason these gigantic boulders that he throws at us can be <laughs> broken with a roll, which is really dumb, but yeah. Uh, he drops... Ooh, tight no chunk. Uh, I think that's a pretty rare drop, so... Happy for that one. Uh, okay, now let's go over here. Now, interestingly, in this room, uh, if you're undead, which I actually normally am, oh, ho hollow, sorry, if you're hollow, which I normally am, um, you will not see this summon sign. If you're not, you will. Uh, you can summon Iron Tarkus here, who will help us defeat the boss. However, we're going to go clear out a few extra things before we defeat the boss. Probably do it next time. Uh, okay, so, let's go... Let's go down here. Roll, roll, damn, that sucks. Let's jump across to this. Now this is a little, uh, actually a little bit tricky, so just try and line it up straight and then jump at the last second, you should get it. And it, it probably looked a little bit easier there uh, than it actually is, but yeah, it's tough. All right, here's a guy who doesn't like to talk to us, um, in fact, Let's quickly go do this first, and then we'll talk to him. So, you just have to simply walk down these steps. There's quite a lot of them. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. And when you get down here, we can go to where we saw this guy before. Which is near the uh, that hole that we were sending the boulders out of, up there. And behind him is the cage key, which is quite useful. Uh, in fact, that item is mandatory. Opens hanging cage in Sen's fortress. If a hapless adventurer becomes fatigued during an imprudent attempt to overcome the fortress, the serpent men will not kill him, but lock him up in a, in a lonely cage. Eventually, unless they have forgotten, they drag the victim off to who knows where. Okay, so that one's going to be quite important to us. Uh, you know what, we're going to talk to this dude next time because I'm pretty much out of time. Um, so yeah, we'll find out what he has to say next time. Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 21 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls Remastered. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.